leave him alone, Ben. What is Doom thinking? Attacking us in our own home? Doom is one of the smartest people on the planet. He knew the only way past my high-tech security was a surprise mystical attack like this. He took something of mine, and I'd like to know what. Reed, babe, let me go for it. I can do it. Be careful! Be more than careful! Flame on! Great job yelling flame on so he knows you're coming. Don't lose him. Uh, excuse me, he's getting away. I got this. I believe a booyah is in order. <laughs> I did say flame on, so don't act all surprised. Flame on, flame on, flame on! On hell! Gotcha. Freaking black magic, it is not fair! Guess what time it is! Crumbling moron. You insipid trolls. I was born of a... Force field. You're under arrest, Dr. Doom. Do you, uh, have the authority to arrest him, sis? Sure. Why not? You break into our home? You attack us in front of our children? I am your superior in every conceivable way, Richards. You will learn to respect me, even if it's with your dying breath. Speaking of breath, have you tried flossing? Aw, oh, snap! Children. <laughs> Get ready for it. He's around here somewhere. He's gone. Good. Did he kill himself? Because, really, that would be awesome. No one with the ego of Victor Von Doom would ever kill themselves. Well, no, that's true. He took something from me. I know it. That egotistical fool thought it would be simple enough just to attack him. I was there searching. Searching to see if Richards had what I need in his possession. But I see he does not. Everything he has, I have. Why? Why does this power elude me? I have searched the world. I have studied magics that do not exist anymore. I have conquered every science. All I see are these artifacts. Powerful as they are, they will not bring me my heart's desire. But they could defeat me if in the right hands. They must be dealt with. It is time to look past this dimension. Dormammu! Mortal. My name is Victor Von Doom. I come here offering trade. And what is it you have to offer? I can offer you your earthbound enemies. I can give you Doctor Strange, or anyone else that has kept you from seeking your fortune. And in return, power. What kind of power? The kind of power you possess. The kind of power that would make the earthly plane tremble. I must say, it is interesting that you come to me with this. Because I cannot think of anything I would like less than you with that kind of power. Speak wisely, demon. How would helping you, the most power-hungry mortal of the earthly plane, how would giving you access to that kind of power be in my best interest? Because of what you get in return. I'll be honest with you, Victor. I don't see this happening. I wonder, Doom, is this still about your poor dead gypsy mother? It takes a special kind of mortal arrogance to think so well of yourself when there is so much evidence to the contrary. As much as I would like to see you flail in agony for the rest of your days, I believe I will cast you out whence you came, with a lesson! Learn your place, Doctor, or it will be the end of you. No! Uh, Tony? I'm having me time, Pepper. I think we have a security breach. You think? What does that mean, you think? Because a security breach, that's vaguely important. There was a massive energy surge in the south quadrant of the complex. Surge? Then a five-second power outage. Outage? We can't have a power outage. It's impossible. Exactly. Now look at this. What am I looking at? Am I crazy? Or is that a cape? Is there anybody on the premises wearing a cape? No. Not even that weird intern? We did a full security sweep. You think someone was here for all of five seconds and disappeared? I do. Is anything missing? Only you know everything that's here. Green cape. Uh oh 
Tony Stark is a genius, but he doesn't know the level that I am working on even exists. Uh, these marked files. Lucas Bishop, time traveler, energy absorption. The terrorist organization Hydra has reformed under the leadership of Viper, the Madam Hydra. Nathaniel Essex, the one they call Mr. Sinister. Power and intellect that may even match my own. Energy manipulation. Organization for hire. A plan is forming. If only I could find the power to... The Cosmic Cube. Tony Stark knows where the Cosmic Cube is. And it is on Earth. Why would Stark not use this power for himself? Why would he... I see. The cube has always eventually defeated its owner, because no human or mortal can properly contain the power. But no one has what I have. It will take an elaborate plan. It will take everything at my kingdom's disposal. But I will have it. I am bored. I told you to bring something to read. You knew we would be here for a while, Icarus. I know, Cersei, I know. I'm an Eternal. I've sworn to protect the Earth. When I swore that oath, I was hoping for something a little less this and a little more... You should just enjoy the quiet. No one knows we are here. No one knows why we are here. And pretty soon it will be Domo's turn on cube duty. How much longer? Listen, you and me are going to have a... Ah, what is this now? Doom. Ah. Uh, hello? This is not Dr. Doom. Thanks. Where is he? He's here. <laughs> I needed to see what I was up against. Uh, you have power greater than I can control. At least for now. So I need to remove you. Goodbye. Uh-oh. is about control. Systematic control of power. In a way, I have trained for this moment my entire life. This machine, upon completion, will harness and control the cube. But the key is to build it without raising the suspicions or attentions of Reed Richards or the Avengers or anyone who could stand in my way. When I finally do unleash the full potential of my plan, they won't even know that it had happened. I will use Hydra to create diversion. The heroes will be completely distracted. Every major power broker will be focused on something else. You cannot rule without an army. Hydra, if all goes according to plan, will be that army. The surviving super-powered villains will be my lieutenants. And then, when the time is... I am Uatu. The Watcher. I am Uatu, the Watcher. I have been charged with observing your world since before humanity reigned as the dominant species. I have watched your greatest explorers become your greatest heroes. I have watched you turn accident into triumph. I have watched selfless acts defy a lifetime. Seen the flash of genius define the future. I have watched legends born. And return when most. 
most needed. I have watched adversity turn into purpose. Over and over again, I have watched all of this and so much more because that is the task bequeathed to me by the universe. But I can stand by and watch no more. I have watched you, Victor Von Doom. I know what you're planning, and it cannot be allowed. Humanity is at an important crossroads. The future of your species is at stake. So today, I have broken my Watcher's vow to never interfere with the course of humanity. I am here to stop you! I have so little respect for those who do not know their place! You do not know the power you abuse. And you do not seem to know how to be silent! The power of the cube is mine to control! You were a fool to come here! You have no one to blame but yourself! Please, no human can hold such power. You're wrong! Ah!